Oh, so I, I did the PICL. Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah, I couldn't see it in the lighting here. It looks like that's the uh, crap they clean my face with. They go in through my mouth. Anyhow. Um, oh, my throat hurts. But it was weird because like, it hurts like down here. I thought it would go like straight back. But I don't know. Maybe that goes into your brain stem. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. So I did the PICL and it's weird because like, um, well, first of all, they, they, I was laying down talking to them and whatever. And, and then I just was like, I woke up. I didn't even like other times I've been put under anesthesia in my life. I was aware I was going into, uh, under anesthesia and, uh, I have no recollection of that. Like last time I was put out, they're like, all right, count back from a hundred. And I was like, okay. And I got to like 90 and I was out, but I was aware that that event occurred. I'm not aware of any events prior to like, I was just having a conversation that I was, and I woke up and I had patches where my hips were. I was like, ow, that hurts. And then uh, I went back under and, which I don't remember again. I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. Uh, and then I woke up and uh, in a different room and they're like, Hey, you're all right, you're all set. And I'm like, what? Like, why did we already started? I was like, oh my God. So, um, and then I was like, man, my throat hurt. The side of my neck hurts, like that spot up near my right ear where the chiropractor hurt me, that hurts a lot. I told them specifically, I was like, this spot right here has been bothering me for a year and a half. The chiropractor hurt me. Can you uh, take a look at it? Because they were just going to do like the standard ligaments C0 to C4 in addition to the PICL ligaments in my mouth. And, um, but this is, this one wouldn't have been up near the side here, up near my skull. That wasn't going to be injected. And I had specifically asked them to, because it's damaged. And they, they agreed that it, was, it did feel like it was damaged. And, and, uh, so anyway, they, um, they did the procedure on me and I have no pain otherwise. Like, I have no pain on my alar transverse ligaments, with no pain on longitudinal ligaments. Um, the posterior longitudinal ligament, uh, I have no capsular ligaments. Uh, I have no, just nothing. No pain in any of them. And I'm like, what the, what the hell, man? Like, Dr. Papa, as I saw him, when he injected me afterwards, all of the ligaments hurt. All of them. And... I have no no pain except that one spot right here which hurts really bad but none of the main PICL stuff like when hurts just really strange just not even like a little pain just nothing like it feels the same as like you know like my arm or something like there's nothing like there's, there's no there's no sensation there's no pain it's fucking weird now I, I don't know like because everyone on, on Facebook groups was talking about like hey this hurts a lot you know, the next day you're gonna be in a lot of pain for like 24 hours, and then it gets better fairly quickly. And but they give you painkillers, so I was like, okay, well, I could deal with that. But I didn't even have it. I was just, I'm just fine. Except the spot in my throat really hurts when I swallow, uh, or when I, um, uh, uh, well, that's just not, not just when I swallow or like cough or eat something, uh, like uh, so it, it hurts a lot then but otherwise it doesn't I don't really notice it and I felt a little more stable like while walking around without my collar when I got out of the car god it was hard because this part right here when I was driving back every every bounce it hurt so fucking bad I was screaming in pain I was trying so hard my mom was trying to drive safe gentle gentle but we had to get back to the hotel and so and then I get up here and I'm like I, I wasn't wearing my neck brace I was like oh I don't feel like so much like a bobblehead so I was like, wow, uh, tonight has improved some, but I don't know if that's because of Valium or because of the injections holding everything in place. I mean, they gave me a Valium and uh, benzos always make my tinnitus quieter um, because they dull your nervous system. Same with the alcohol, it dulls my nervous system, makes it quieter, so I don't know. Um, curve correction is the main thing I have to, I put off curve correction because I, I was having such trouble. I was like, I don't want to aggravate my neck at all. Even though curve correction is pretty gentle, I was like, I'm just going to hold off. And then 
when I get back to that, that should help me improve and get rid of my tinnitus. Because um, I've had significant improvements already. So, anyway, that's what's going on with me.